A Pinch of Ten, written and told by Kiefer Adams. Gordon stared at the new engine in the corner of the yard. He was a large diesel engine, a sort of goldish colour, with faded stripes on his sides. Sir Topham Hatt, the head of the railway, was walking up and down, observing his new diesel. Do you have a name? he asked. Friends back home call me Diesel Ten, the diesel replied. Ten out of ten and pure strength. That's good to hear, smiled Sir Topham Hatt. I hope you'll settle well on my railway, and may you feel welcome here. He turned and walked away. Diesel Ten set to work at once. Gordon sniffed. This was going to make interesting conversation with the other engines later that day. When Thomas the tank engine returned from a long day's work, the engines were arguing furiously. Gordon, Henry and James had all agreed that Diesel 10 was not to be trusted, while Edward, Percy and Toby had tried to convince them otherwise. He'll only get in the way, that's for certain, huffed Henry. I don't want to be anywhere near something as devious as that snorted James. He might cause trouble for us. Nasty fumes from a dingy diesel, snorted Gordon. Thomas sighed. He hasn't done anything wrong, he protested. We should give him a chance. Thomas is quite right, observed Toby. He just wants to be useful, Percy added. And besides, said Edward, we don't know what he's capable of until he's proven himself. But of course, Toby, Edward, Percy and Thomas were wasting their own breath as Gordon, Henry and James said nothing more. A few days later, James had brought a goods train from the other side of the island and was complaining bitterly to Toby about the day's work. At that moment, Diesel 10 rolled past for the express. Gordon was taken ill, so Diesel 10 had offered his services. He pulled up next to the engines to greet them, but in doing so, his engine made a horrible coughing sound. The next thing James knew, he was covered in soot. What do you think you're playing at? roared James. I I I'm really sorry, said Diesel Tent. It was a simple accident. I'll give you accident, roared James, and before Toby could stop him, James had let out a great cloud of steam, which almost coated Diesel 10. That's enough, James, said Toby. Be off with you. James puffed grumpily away. I'm so sorry about that, said Toby. But Diesel 10 was at a loss for words as he rolled away. Even when Gordon came back, the treatment from him, James and Henry started to take its toll on Diesel 10. Eventually, he could stand it no more. One stormy day, Edward found him at the scrapyard. He was seething with rage. Are you all right? asked Edward. What do you care? Diesel 10 hissed. No one appreciates the hard work I do, except Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas, Toby, Percy and I are on your side, said Edward. We want to help you. I don't need help from puffballs who always think they can throw their weight around. Just you wait. I'll get even. And then you'll all be sorry. <laughs> Diesel Ted growled as he rolled away. Edward watched him till he was out of sight. No one saw or heard anything from Diesel Ten for quite some time. It was nearly a month later when Thomas and Percy came across him again when Sir Topham Hatt asked them to collect some trucks from the smelters. The sight that met them was horrifying. Diesel 10 was working in the middle of the scrapyard, but now he was loading trucks with a large mechanical crunching claw, which he was calling Pinchy. Well, 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 he smirked when Thomas and Percy came into the yard. How do you like Pinchy? I think he's hungry for some puffballs. You're all monstrous, 
wailed Percy. There's nothing left of you, said Thomas. And there won't be anything left of you steamers by the time I'm through with you. <laughs> Diesel Ten's laugh echoed across the scrapyard. It shook Thomas and Percy to their frames as they darted away, terrified of what they'd seen. Towards the end of the day, Diesel Ten was making his way home when he saw Edward coming towards him. Sir Topham Hatt angrily jumped down from Edward's cab and strode up to the Diesel. Who do you think you are threatening my engines? he thundered. Who do you think you are having them turn on me when I just wanted to be useful? Diesel Ten snapped back. We only wanted to help you said Edward, but looking at the monster you've now become, I'm starting to regret it. You will leave my railway at once, ordered Sir Topham Hatt, and I don't expect you back here again. Diesel 10 said nothing. He gritted his teeth, clenched his claw, and left. But he would be back, one way or another. But that's a story that some of you may know all too well.